This brief video is part of a larger series exploring the new NX measure command. In this video, I'll show you when to use point and vector constructors. At the top of the measure dialog, you'll see in addition to the object selection, these point and vector constructors here. These will be used in cases where you don't have a point object or a vector object to select in the graphics area and you need to construct one. For instance, during a projected distance command, I may measure from uh, a face here to another face out here, for instance, and get rid of that angle. And if we square this up, we can see that this is not quite straight out here. Uh, if I happen to have a datum axis handy, as I do here, I can use that as an object to specify a vector, and this will create a projected distance for us here. But if I don't have that axis handy, for instance, if I delete that one uh, and I need to construct a vector here, I can come to the vector constructor. This will give us all of those options for constructing vectors out there, including all of the options that are in here, right? And we can use uh, any or all of these to go and construct a vector. So a similar vector might be, for instance, using this edge to define that vector that would again give us that projected distance between those two objects. So that'll define a vector in the list here. Again, we can use, uh, redefine that if we want to using any of the vector construction tools. Uh, for point example, let me reset the dialog here. I may have a situation like this where I have, for instance, uh, some holes up here and I want to measure between the center points of those holes. I don't have a point handy, a point object there to select. If I'm on the underside of this model here, I do happen to have some points uh, at those, those locations. So with the object selection here, for instance, I could select that point and select that point object and get, again, point objects in this case, and get a minimum distance between those. That's that 17.5805 out there. Uh, if I don't have those, uh, for instance, in, in this situation, and want to get that same distance or a similar distance between a couple of, of uh, locations, whether they be center points or endpoints or things like that. Again, I can come to the point selections there, and now all of my snap points are available to use up here. So I can grab the center of that hole, for instance, the center of that hole to get that same distance. Uh, similarly, again, I can redefine one of those points, that second point, and say I want to choose this point instead, uh, and it'll choose that second point instead for me or any other point out there on the model. Use the snap points to, uh, to choose uh, another point out on the model. 